Well, my NZXT Starter Plus is about three weeks old now, and I've already upgraded again a component on it. Can you see it in the background? Can you tell what I upgraded? There's some more flashing lights in there. No, I didn't just add RGB. So let's find out what I added. So before we start the video, I'd like to take a moment to thank you, the people who are watching my videos. Uh, I'm now over 100 subscribers. Once you go over 100 subscribers, you can get a custom URL with YouTube. So now I'm able to have 68 Bravo, uh, YouTube slash C slash 68 Bravo as my YouTube address. So thank you. And I'll keep trying to put out good content. Before we get into the video, I've got to throw in a little bit of advertising. So, unfortunately, right now it's self-promotion because I'm the only one that pays for everything. So, I do stream on Twitch every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So, pop on over to twitch.tv slash 68bravo if you get a chance. Uh, doesn't cost anything to follow. Also, we've got a merchandise store now. I'll leave a link to it down below. But you can also go to my Twitch site, click the link, mugs if you're a coffee drinker or tea, mouse pads, stickers. So pop on over and check out the merchandise store. So if you haven't seen any of my previous videos, you know that I recently bought an NZXT Starter Plus computer and I've already upgraded it a little bit. Uh, put it in a 510 Elite case, put in some RGB fans, and as of today, I upgraded the RAM. It came with 16 gigabytes. I now have 32 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, I had two RGB sticks laying around that I put in there. So now I have 32 gigs. Um, if you are, if you do have a Starter Plus and uh, thinking about upgrading the RAM, you want some RGB RAM or anything, uh, please note that as you can see, the RAM does stick out farther than the fan, so uh, you can only put it in a couple of the slots. I had to move the T-Force RAM over in the slot that's right underneath the fan because the new RAM would not fit in there. It's too tall. So I've had a lot of interest in people asking me about the upgradability of the NZXT Starter Plus, so I've kind of looked into that a little bit. Um, the motherboard that came with mine, I can put an i9 in there. I can upgrade to an i9 processor. And then obviously you can upgrade to, uh, you know, whatever video card. So I'm thinking probably next year um, I'll be able to afford to, to upgrade it. I don't know if I'm going to put an i9 or an i7 in there. But I will upgrade it next year and definitely put out a video. And um, still deciding on the video card if it's going to be 2070, 2080, whatever variant of that, maybe 2080 Super. I don't know if I'm going to go with 2080 Ti. But stay tuned for that next year for sure when I can afford to get that stuff and throw it in and test it out. However, speaking of testing, so for the next week, I'm going to swap. I'm going to use my Starter Plus as my gaming machine. And I'm going to use the computer I built, the other one, that has the i9 processor and the 2080 card in it. I'm going to use that one for the streaming computer. I've had a lot of people ask me about the gaming. Uh, I did throw some games on there and test it out in my last video. However, you know, that I just played a game on each thing and that was it. So... I'm going to do some real world testing. I'm going to use it straight for a week and then I'll put out a video on pros and cons of, of, of the computer. So if you're thinking about buying an NZXT Starter Plus for gaming, uh, just wait a week. I'll put out a video in about a week after playing on it for a week and let you know my thoughts. So I'll see you guys in a week with that. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and stay safe.